Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm here, just pulled off the freeway in Federal Way, a little rest stop area that I like to go to because it's free RV dumping, waste, free water, and free coffee, even more important. Also wanted to give, uh, let you all know, so the, the video I posted last night about trying to get my MacBook screens up onto the TV, uh, you all are, were right, there is a way to do it in Mac, I just didn't know about it. I actually had to change the dual screen, unclick the box that says mirroring, and then it allows you to drag a specific window across into a monitor that really doesn't exist, except on your TV. And uh, so anyway, that's how I got the TV to show my VLC player and then be able to use my laptop for other stuff. Anyway, i um, kind of headed north today. Going to go up to Seattle at least. Really expecting a lot of traffic, so I'm just kind of making it an easy day. And if it gets real bad and traffic's really bad, I'll just uh, camp out up in Seattle. Oh, and uh, Jim, I got your care package at the post office. Uh, thank you. I looked through it. Uh, I had to put your uh, your, te your Texas beer in the fridge. So uh, if it's cold enough, I'll, I'll taste some of that tonight and let you know. Thank thanks again for that. It was really nice of you. All right, well, I'm here in Seattle, Washington. I am at the historic Old Rainier Brewery here right off the freeway. And uh, my kind of place. I'm going to go check it out. if they're hiring. I could do quality control here. Well, apparently the uh, Rainier Brewery here in Seattle, Washington is a complete front. The building uh, is completely empty uh, and it's not a brewery anymore. It's just the old brewery. It's just a big empty building where no beer is made and nobody is in any of the offices inside. So got a big cool R and I guess it's pretty popular because it's right off I-5 and everybody sees it but it's just for show. There's no beer. Oh well. Alright well uh, Rainier Brewery was a complete bust so I'm going to check out this uh, Goodwill here downtown Seattle and I give this one a shot. Supposedly it's pay by the pound so there aren't going to be any prices but I'm going to check on there and see what we can find. Alright, well that was a fun experience, not really in my type of store though. Basically it was just a bunch of junk in different bins, not organized at all, and it smelled and there was sticky stuff getting on my hands. And I feel like I need a tetanus shot now. <laughs> so, I kind of prefer the nicer stores, I guess. All right, well, my day wasn't a total bust. I found a retro game store here in downtown Seattle called uh, The Paint Gorilla. Got one new game and a new controller. <laughs> All right, well, I, at first I thought today was kind of a total bust because I put on like 380 miles. Uh, the the two places uh, that I wanted to go, the thrift store and the Rainier Brewery, turned out to be total bust, so that's too bad. But anyway, like, like I said, I did get some new games, um, and they both work. I already tried them in my Nintendo 64, uh, but I'm back in the RV, back in Thurston County for the night, playing uh, Ken Griffey Jr.'s Major League Baseball. I think the, the I think the real reason why I like this game so much is just because you can save you can play the whole season and it saves every game and keeps statistics you know how many RBIs and home runs every character gets so I don't know it's nice but um, I got uh, a buddy who sent me a care package uh, Jim sent me some some Texas beer it's it says on the top the national beer of Texas Lone Star so um, put those in my fridge this morning after I got my package and now I'm on number four of six and they're very tasty. I like free beer sent to me from uh, Texas. Thanks, Jim. As far as my gaming system, people were asking me what, what games I have for my Nintendo 64. 
So I thought I'd share with you some of that. Uh, like I said earlier, I got rid of my PS2 and all the 120 games that I had with that. But I'm way more into my Nintendo 64. And um, it's really the only hobby that I have anymore. So uh, besides the um, King of Junior game, I'll just go through them all. GoldenEye 007. Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. MRC Racing, but I gotta get a new uh, label for that guy. Cruisin' USA. Star Fox 64. Mario Kart 64. Wave Race. Banjo Tooie. Zelda, Ocarina of Time. F1 World Grand Prix. Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Doom 64, and of course, Super Mario 64. Uh, I did order Banjo-Kazooie, the first one on eBay, for 14 bucks. that's coming on the way, getting that. Um, at one time, a couple years ago, I had Conker's Bad Fur Day, which is an extremely rare game. In fact, probably one of the rarest games um, known to the N64. And um, I'm still trying to get that back, but I've been looking at eBay, and all the prices are, like, over $85. Well, $85, those are for, like, auctions that still have five days left. So I don't even know what they end up selling for, but way out of my price range right now. Um, that's okay. I got plenty of games, and I love the Nintendo 64 is my favorite system because of the games that they have. Um, the only other thing I'd like to do one day is... Um, there's a program that sells re replacement uh, uh, labels for these games, but I would like to find a way to make labels on the top. I don't, I don't, I don't even think any of my viewers even care about Nintendo 64, but I don't know. It's just, it's a really weird place to have it because if you have these like filed away somewhere like like this, you have no idea what game you're looking at until you look at it. I want labels up here, so. Um, doing some research but I, I think it would even be cool to find a way to make them myself like go into Photoshop and get the dimensions and just say I want it from this from these two spots on here this wide and then you know print off a little thing Mario 64 on label paper on the printer or something like that do custom little labels so um, if I get bored I'll end up doing that for all my games and Hell, maybe I'll just uh, make them for everybody and, and, and sell them to other people that collect this kind of stuff. I'm really into retro type stuff. I'm not into the new stuff. So this is something that's going to stay with me for a while. Um, I tested out the controller that I got today. It's a, an aftermarket controller. And um, the joystick is incredibly responsive. Like, watch. I mean, it, there's no play anywhere. It's very responsive, and um, I'm kind of learning to play my games in a new way. I don't know. It's it's neat to have, but I, I've I've learned to kind of adapt to the fact that there's so much give and play in the old joysticks. So um, it's a learning curve there. But um, anyway, yeah. Got my night planned out. You guys have a good one. Talk to you guys. Wow. Take two. Anyways, I got my night planned out. You guys have a good one. Hey, it's Eric, along with Jax. Thanks for watching our videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get the latest updates. And feel free to check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.